South Africa and the United Kingdom as scientists will bid into international science partnerships funds worth 1 billion rand over the next two years. British High Commissioner Anthony Philipson revealed this during a dinner hosted by Higher Education Minister Bladen Zimande in Pretoria. Seven more young South Africans are expected to receive training through this particular program. I'm pleased to announce this evening that researchers in South Africa, in partnership with their colleagues in the United Kingdom, will be able to bid into ISPF programs worth up to 50 million pounds or up to 1 billion rand to deliver high impact research across four themes. Thank you. I should have paused. You're quite right. <laughs> across four themes resilient planet, healthy people, animals, and plants, transformative technologies, and tomorrow's talent. And several ISPF UK South Africa initiatives that I can also announce tonight include the Research Infrastructure Partnership Program, a new partnership between South Africa's National Research Foundation and the UK's Science and Technologies Facilities Council. This program will strengthen collaboration between our two research communities to address South African research challenges. It will support new high quality projects and it will continue to build the skills base for radio astronomy in South Africa and other African country partners involved in the Square Kilometre Array. On its 10 year anniversary, I'm also pleased to announce that we will continue to support the work of the Technology Innovation Agency and the UK's Royal Academy of Engineering on the Leaders in Innovation Fellowships Program. Seven South African innovators have been selected to join this year's cohort. They will receive expert support and training to progress promising innovations that address the sustainable development goals both locally here in South Africa and indeed globally.